And now, your WCBX Pinpoint Weather with Chief Meteorologist Jordan Dressman. A beautiful Friday afternoon across North Alabama, Southern Middle Tennessee. In many locations, temperatures warmed into the mid and upper 70s. Huntsville International saw 76, just like Athens and Decatur. Florence was one of the warm spots this afternoon. They saw a high of 78 degrees, a couple of degrees cooler. Arab and Albertville each saw a high of 73. Yielded some fantastic photos with the blue sky. Really made the wildflowers pop here right around the New Hope area. Uh, Jim sent us this picture. He actually texted it to me, and you can text me your weather photos as well. The number's right there on your screen, 256-382-2692. Send me your photos. It may just end up here on WZDX News. Now we're going to turn our attention to a cold front that is eventually going to push its way through North Alabama, Southern Middle Tennessee, and it will bring a couple of showers and maybe even a couple of thunderstorms. As it stands right now, Pinpoint Viper is looking nice and quiet, but I expect that's going to change in the rather immediate future. Through the overnight, the shower activity is going to become a little more widespread. By 1, 1.30 in the morning, we're talking about widespread shower and thunderstorm activity. Some of that rain is heavy at times, and again, maybe a few rumbles of thunder. All of this should remain sub-severe, and none of it's really going to stick around that long. By 8, 9 o'clock in the morning, we're dry, and we're beginning to see some more sunshine, and the sunshine's going to increase through the later part of the morning and then into the afternoon. Now, things change. Once we get to Sunday morning, the cloud cover really begins to return to the Tennessee Valley, and with that will be the opportunity for some more widespread shower and thunderstorm activity, only this time, Looks like thunderstorms could be on the strong or even severe end of the spectrum. We'll get to that in just a second. I want to talk about your Saturday real quick. Like I said, clouds gradually decreasing through the morning into the afternoon. Plenty of sunshine. You can get outside, play with your sidewalk chalk. The only downside is I would highly suggest grabbing a jacket. It is going to be just a touch chilly. Most of us only finishing the day in the upper 50s and lower 60s. Now, all of North Alabama is sitting under that marginal risk for severe weather. This is valid Sunday evening and then through the earliest hours of the overnight. The greater risk for severe weather this time is actually sitting to our south. Birmingham Point southward, they are actually talking about an enhanced risk, and that runs as far south as the Gulf Coast and different portions of the Florida Panhandle. And this is all thanks to a, sim a setup that's very similar to what we saw last Sunday, an area of low pressure with the attention warm front. Now this time it looks like the warm front is actually going to stay to our south, which would limit our threat for severe weather across the Tennessee Valley. The one thing it's really not going to limit, the additional rainfall that we're going to see. By Monday afternoon, most of us looking at another one and a half or even two inches of rain we simply do not need. Have a good look at the next seven days, 65 on Sunday, but look at Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. It's actually going to be really nice. We're going to stay dry, 68 on Monday and 73 on Tuesday. We continue to warm by next Wednesday before more thunderstorms move back into the Tennessee Valley once we hit next Thursday. So look at your forecast. 